Hey Railheads, welcome back to my Finger Lakes Railway layout. Now this will be my first time using decal paper for homemade decals. Well, let me show you what I learned coming up on my Finger Lakes Railway layout. So I'm doing two of these BAEX boxcars for U.S. Salt. These cars just have so much personality. Now here's some more prototype photos. I finally found these champion decals on eBay, but only enough for one car. And here's the cars I'm going to work with here. I don't really care what the road name is on them, because that's all going to go away anyway. And uh, take a look here at these two cars. Nothing too fancy. So here's car number one. I just shot a coat of primer. Uh, I got the roof masked off. I think this was the last set of these decals in captivity. But I have two cars to do. So I ordered some decal paper from Micromark. I scanned the decal, pasted a couple three into Adobe printed and gave the paper a shot of clear gloss and let it dry. But we have an issue. Scanning the decal and printing made the background come out blue as you can see on the left of my test strip here. I should have seen that coming, I guess. Now if you were just printing your own decals, you should be able to get a transparent background. It just didn't work for me on these scanned decals. So I ended up using Adobe to change the background color to blend in with the paint that I used on the car. Well, let me back up for a minute. Uh, by now, I've got the car primed and painted. Now I'll shoot a coat of Pledge or, or Future Floor Gloss in preparation for the decals. And if you're not familiar with it, I know it seems kind of weird. My old Pache Model H airbrush. I failed to get any video of these decals going on, but the process was more about timing than just slipping the decals off the paper and onto the model. And this took some trial and error, but here's what worked for me. I let the decals sit overnight after printing and then sprayed the heck out of them with the Krylon Crystal Clear and I let them dry. I cut out the decal and soaked it in distilled water 20 seconds let it rest on a paper towel 30 seconds or so and then the decal slid right off the backing so I put it on the model waited a few seconds for the top of the decal to dry and I wicked some microset that's the blue bottle uh, under the decal not on top of it and moved it around with my knife got it in position and then gently rolled a makeup sponge over the top to remove any of the liquid from under the decal in success I did notice some bubbling even after applying the Microsol in the red bottle, and I even tried uh, several applications of Walther Salva set. Uh, they're still kind of bumpy, but should be fine for the three foot rule. Now that we've got these decals down, it's on to the weathering process. I used acrylics, oil paints, weathering pencils, graffiti decals, Pigma Micron pens, makeup sponges foam brushes, flat coat, gloss coat, and pan pastels. After priming and painting with the airbrush, I added some rust streaks using oil paints.
Now some pan pastels. I really need to get that area below the gutter to the right of the doors. Got one eye on my prototype photo so I don't get too far out of bounds. Who's this Alex guy anyway? Let's do some heavy rust on the doors and sides with the weathering pencils. Notice how I dip them in water and use a little makeup applicator. Now time for the patches. Another coat of pledge first. You see that shine? I mixed a slightly lighter shade for the patches to match the prototype. Uh, but this is how I mixed the paint for, uh, color for the Model 2 which I airbrushed. I use Vallejo Model Air Sand, Yellow Ochre, and White.
I cut the letters and numbers for the patches. and applied them to the car. And now on to the graffiti. If I could draw, I would hand paint it, but I can't. So I do graffiti decals. Now I outline where my decals will be and paint a white gloss layer there and this lets the decal colors show through. The roof is just uh, stippled oil paint with some pan pastels on top. Now I've done the wheels, trucks, and couplers in another video so I'll spare you that. I hope this inspires you to weather a boxcar. It takes time, but it's worth it. And this is just my way. You'll find your own way. And this car looks good on my Finger Lakes Railway layout, and I'm sure nobody else has one just like it. Hmm, kind of getting a vacant stare here from this guy. But uh, anyway, hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to. I'd appreciate it. I'll see you all next time.